Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so super quick. I checked my um, travel calendar and in 16 days, I am, <laughs> you like that, eh? <laughs> I'm flying off. <laughs> I am flying off to San Diego, California. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get there. I cannot wait to meet all the students who have registered for the classes. I cannot wait to meet you all. We cannot wait to teach you guys. For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about or do uh, and are still interested, I am going to be going to San Diego, California, March 1st and March 2nd. I will be teaching live classes, uh, four hour classes. There's four to choose from. You can take one, two, three, or all four. Uh, if you do take all four, you get a discount. Um, and I will be teaching with Lee and Jeremy from Massey Art Studio. Um, if you want information to come and see us in San Diego, you can email us at fluidartwithfriends at gmail.com. Okay, I'm super excited. I cannot wait to go there and check out San Diego. I'm gonna stay a couple of days after and sightsee with Anthony, super excited. Uh, and then I will be heading to Asheville, North Carolina. That is going to be happening May 23rd to the 25th. That is a three day event. I will be there with about five to six other YouTube artists as well. That is for the Fluid Art Experience event. And that, if you want information for that, you can go to www.fluidartexperience.com, okay? And that is happening in Asheville, North Carolina. And then finally, I will be heading to sunny Florida in Fort Myers, where I will be teaching there as well. Those will be four and a half hour classes, and I will be teaching with Kathleen from Cause Creations. And that is happening July 13th and 14th. And if you want information on that event, pay attention, Fluid Art with Friends Florida at gmail.com. Okay, so don't mix up the San Diego email with the Florida email. Okay, so if you want Florida, it's Fluid Art with Friends Florida at gmail.com. All that information on those three events that I just mentioned are in the description below, okay? You can look below the video and get all that information and the links and the emails and all of that stuff. So three events, West Coast, East Coast, and more East Coast, <laughs> I don't know. But I'll be in those three places in the next, you know, up till July, okay? So I will be there if you want info in the description. now. Let's see the dried results from the last video. I know a lot of you are like, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. I kept coming down here to the studio like every six hours in the morning, at night, whatever. I'm like watching this dry patiently, but it's finally dry. And I can't wait to show you. Look at this. How cool is this? I actually kind of like it like this. I like this composition. So let me come in close and you can see now the blue did take over because it was Holbein and you guys all know what I say about Holbein paints that Holbein does take over. So I love it. I wish I would have seen a little more green in there. So look at that. <laughs> this is so cool. Um, I can't believe it was white and then it dries and it's got all this color to it. So here's the thing. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of doing this again. However, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do it in patches. What do you think? So if I did like, um, pearl red, pearl yellow, pearl green, pearl blue, pearl violet, right? And just did like a border like that and just do chunks. I think there's Five? Yeah, five. Five pearls, not including white, because then that's six, but I don't want to use white. But what if I did that? What if I did one, two, three, four, five, six, and I did that, but then added like, I don't know, gold or something. One contrasting color in between each, or maybe even black. 
But wouldn't that be cool to see how that tries? Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I do that? Should I do a video on that and see how that turns out? But I love the way this turned out. Um, this is available for purchase for anyone who is interested. And speaking of artwork for purchase, don't forget, I did do a video a couple of days ago on Friday of last week where I showed you guys all the paintings that I currently have available for purchase and they are all discounted. They are all on sale, okay? So check out that video, email me if you want pricing and information and want to purchase anything that's got a discount on it. Okay, today is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's to those of you who believe in it, love it, follow it, you know, do all that fun stuff. I'm super happy because this is my first Valentine's with Anthony and I'm super excited. We've got dinner reservations to a fancy Italian restaurant tonight. So I'm super excited. Um, but yeah, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone. And so with that, today's video is going to be a special one, a special heart. Gosh, I don't know. The, what do the kids do? This thing? I, I don't know. I'm so not into that. But anywho, it is going to be a Valentine's themed video. And with that, there is a Loli Vefi collaboration kit for the month of February starting today. So I am going to do an unboxing for you guys and show you guys what comes in this special Valentine's Day kit. And then I'm going to do a painting on the wooden heart that comes in the kit. So let's get set up i will do an unboxing for you guys and then we're gonna get started on the painting i'll be right back all right so let's do the unboxing of what is going to be in the love pack number nine that's what we're calling it love pack kit um with loli veffy so let's get started um first off you are going to get two of these super cute little hearts um, let me take it out of here. You're going to get two of these hearts and that is what I'm going to be working on in today's video. Um, these are nine inch little MDF hearts. So you get two of these. All right. You are going to get a five pack of the, uh, squeeze bottles. These are the 250 mil bottles. Okay. These are the maxi bottles. All right, and they have the measurements on them. I don't know if you can see that. So you get a five pack of this. Then you get a 10 pack of the mini bottles. And these are my favorite. I've got over 200 of them, about 250 of them <laughs> behind me. Um, so these are 150 mil. And again, these also have the measurements on them. So you get a 10 pack of this. Then you will get, let's see, four of these silicone mixing bowls, which are super great for easy cleanup after you mix some paints for whatever technique you might be doing. So you get four of these silicone mixing bowls. You will get a pack of these little sticks. These are great if you're mixing with uh, pigments or anything like that. You get a pack of these. You will also get a stir stick, a plastic stir stick, okay? And, or spatula, stir stick, call it what you want. These are great. You don't have to use popsicle sticks. You can wipe it off and reuse, all right? Then you will get obviously some scrapers, all right? Um, and then you will get, oh, a jumbo, whoop myself in the chin yes I did I did and I'm not going to edit that out because that was funny um you will get a jumbo um silicone mat I'm not going to unroll it but you get a jumbo silicone mat and then you're also going to get a petite craft mat I'm not going to hit myself in the face with this one and then you get a petite one so you get two which is great for smaller projects so you get a um, petite craft mat and then last but not least, you're gonna get one of my all-time favorite things from Loli Veffy is a metallic gold marker. You know how much I love these markers, the silver and the gold 
are amazing. Um, they are so vibrant and very, very bright. And I love these. I just used it in a video, a couple of videos ago, where I outlined uh, this piece. I still have it here. This piece. This piece in this gold marker. I love, love, love these markers from Loli Veffy. So let's recap. We've got five pack, 10 pack, two wooden hearts. Okay, let's do it here like this so you can see it. Mm -hmm. There we go. 10 pack, five pack, two of these. You get your marker, you get your silicone bowls, you get the little spoons, you get a spatula, okay? There we go, let's put that there. You'll get a scraper and you will get two of these uh, let's put them right here, like so. I like things in order. There you go. So that is what you get in this kit. That is a lot of stuff. It is 32% off the original price of all of this, which makes it $90. It is a $90 kit. There are only 150 kits available. Once they are sold out, that is it. There is no more. So 150 kits. They are $90, but you can save an extra 10% off using code CANELA10. Throw in that code at checkout, get an extra 10% off, okay? So if I were you, if you are interested in this kit, I would pause the video, head on over to Loli Veffy, okay? So lolivefi.com and pick up the kit. I will have the link for the kit in the description below or you can go, so you can go down there and just click on the link and it'll take you directly to the kit. Purchase the kit, save 10% off, okay? I'm going to put all this great stuff away and I'm gonna get started and do a little mini blowout on this little guy. This should be cute. So let me get myself situated, fixed up, cleaned up, get ready, and we shall get started. All right, everybody, let's get started. Now you saw the unboxing. And so here I've got my little teeny tiny nine inch row, uh, heart. I was gonna call it a rose, I don't know why, heart. I've taped the back, okay? And then what I've gone and done is I primed it with just some black paint. You could prime it with gesso, that's what I recommend. Uh, two to three coats, and then if you want the base to be a different color, like black, for example, then I would just do a final coat of black, uh, paint it. But definitely prime it because you don't want the, um, there could be a chance that the board could warp, okay? So got my little nine inch rose. Now, video number, gosh, was it 538 or 539? I can't remember, but I will link it up here at the top. That is a video I did with a much bigger heart. Um, and I did it on a white base. Um, this time I'm going to do it on a black base. And this is, a, like I said, a teeny tiny heart. So it should be very interesting to see how to do a blowout on a teeny tiny heart. This should be interesting. If you don't want to use a hair dryer, you could always blow it with your mouth or a straw or anything smaller, you know, especially if you don't have this and you have like a big hair dryer, it might be a little hard to do it on this little heart. But let me start off with the colors I'm using. Base is going to be Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And then I'm going to do... Saw Juno hair there. Luminous Opera by Holbein. Then we've got, then we've got Pearl Hot Pink by Arteza. Then Pyro Red Deep by Amsterdam's Expert Series. Some 24 karat gold by Deco Art. And then topping it off, we've got Quinacridone Rose Light by Amsterdam. Oh, look at that. That's crazy. So those are my colors. For those of you wondering how I mix my paints for a perfect blowout um, concoction here, consistency, if you will, uh, you can check out video number 434. I will link it up at the top. And you can click on that link and it'll show you tutorial on how I mix my paints for blowouts, okay? So, I'm gonna get my oxide black here. I'm gonna flood this little heart and I'll be right back.
okay, my teeny tiny heart is ready. Um, okay, so bubbles have been popped with the torch. Now I'm not kind of really, I don't know what kind of composition I'm gonna do here on this because it is so small. So basically I think I'm just going to do anything. And if it covers the whole thing, it will. I kind of do want to leave a little bit of um, negative space. So not quite sure yet what I'm going to do here. I think I'm just going to wing it like that. Sure, why not? That's a lot. That That's not good. But good thing it's here on the end because then I'll just blow it over. Um, that was a lot. That was no good. All right. Oh, it's blocked with white paint. Hey. Oh, see? That is blocking the nozzle. All right. This is gonna look good on black. And I, I probably shouldn't be putting this much paint on this little guy, but that's okay. I will blow it all off, so. Got the red in there. I did want to add some red. I'm hoping it shows up. I might actually add it on the top. A little bit of gold, little bit of gold. <clears throat> I might actually do red again because I do kind of want, I don't want this to be an all pink piece. So I will actually add the red again to the top of that just in case it gets lost in between all the other colors. Okay, this should be interesting. Teeny tiny guy. Let's pop the bubbles. I can't remember the last time I did a blowout on something so small. Okay, well, let's see what happens. And then I can always fix it after with negative space if I want. Let's do it. No, we're not. Because <laughs> I'm not plugged in. Okay, let's try that again. Take two. Okay, let's do it. That is like so teeny tiny and so hard to do. For those of you who are beginners at blowouts and you think practicing on a small canvas is the way to go, it's not. I'm telling you, the bigger the canvas, the better. Um, this is actually a lot harder. Now, I don't like this at all. Um, so I'm gonna try and mouth blow some of this and see what happens. Or, because it's so small, I might just scrape the whole thing and then try again, but just mouth blow it instead. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let's see. I don't like that. No, I don't like that at all. I'm actually very not happy with that. This. Love this though. So I think I might try this again. I know it's crazy, right? But I might go for it again. Or I shall get my lowly Veffy scraper here. And just do that. Okay. It's really hard on a small canvas or bored. I wonder if I should do it again. Should I just start again? Because it'll be really hard to do this without, you know, messing that up. It's too small. It's so teeny tiny, which I love though. But yeah, don't kill me guys and gals. I'm gonna this see because this is so small, I can play with this. I can play with this. So, plus, it's going to make the video longer. You can see my oopsie moments 
and you can see my trial and error moments. So let's try that again, okay? Let's see here. I just cleaned my spatula too. I guess I shouldn't have done that and I won't do that until I'm happy with the piece because you never know, I might scrape this a third time. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, and you know, a lot of people might say, oh, that's such a waste of paint. Maybe. But those are going to be some very pretty skins. Very pretty skins. So, oh, look, I've got a booble. Pop. There we go. Okay, pop the bubbles. Okay, let's try again. And then maybe a little less lines. A little bit like that. Because I, I do kind of want to see some negative space in that. So let's see what happens with this. And I'm not going to do the red on top. So I'll do, I'll change the order. I'm going to do gold now and then red. So it's, ugh, I think I did too much gold. Oh my goodness, Canela. Instead of the red being third from the top, it's now going to be second from the top. And I really don't need this much paint. I don't know why I'm putting so much, but let's see. Finishing it off with pink. Okay. Oh, uh, what the heck? Why not? Okay, so let's pop the bubbles. All right, let's try this again. Okay. See, sometimes it just works to scrape. Okay, oh, this is so much better. I love it. So now I'm gonna push off some of this hot pink because I'm not liking that part. Oh, I'm glad, see? On something teeny tiny like this, it's okay to scrape and start again. I love it. Now I'm gonna blow some of the black negative space in here. Yeah, and then I want some black negative space here. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little black line. Like that, isn't that prettier? I like that so much better. And then there's some black already here. It. I'm so happy with this. It's so cute. I should give it to Anthony. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty funny. Um, I love it. I'm so happy with that. So yeah, when you're not happy with something, especially something this small, you could scrape the whole thing and just start all over. So actually, I have an idea. Um, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. Stop messing with it, Canela. Now, I wanna show you guys, um, I have some tiles here, some coasters. So I'm gonna show you guys. Yeah, you get kind of a two for one today, okay? I'm gonna do some coasters for you guys. Uh, let's see here, not using the hair dryer. I'm gonna do some mouth blowing, okay? So, let's see here. Okay, and I've taped the back of them. I, I'll pan the camera over this way. So I, I have taped the back of them. Now, a lot of you are gonna ask me where I got the tiles from. Here, actually, let me do, 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 do. Voila, look at that. Okay, so 
Um, don't mind my paint skins here. These are my paint skins. Look at that from last video. Always keep your paint skins. Okay, so I don't need the hair dryer anymore. So I've got tiles. Now, a lot of you can ask me, where do I get the tiles from? I got these like four years ago um, from Rona, which is like Lowe's here in Canada. Um, and they, they were on clearance and I got like eight cases of them. Okay. Each case had like 250 tiles in it or something like that. So yeah, I stocked up so they don't have the nubs on the side, uh, like some of them do, um, that you buy these days. So yeah, don't ask me where you can get them because you know, I got them like four years ago. So let me start off with one tile. I'll do this one down here. I should be wearing gloves cause I hate black paint and gloves or, or black paint not using gloves so let me get some gloves hold on i hate using gloves though i cannot tell you how much i hate gloves actually you know what i'm going to use one glove to spread this paint around i'm going to do i may not do all four on camera but so i'm going to make sure my tile is nicely covered. Make sure the edges are covered. Can you guys see? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Make sure the tile is covered. Okay. All right. So now, yeah, I hate getting black under my nicely manicured nails. So let's do... Um, just a little, whoop, like that. Okay. I'm going to leave these bottles open and hopefully I don't forget that they're open and start shaking them around and make a mess. Okay. Some 24 K. Red. Big air bubble. Okay. And the pink on top. So you could use a straw. You could use one of those uh, airbrush, um, you know, uh, machines. You can use a lot of things. Okay. So now I'm just going to blow this with my mouth. You can use a straw, um, but I'm going to mouth blow and try not to pass out. See, super simple, okay? And in fact, I may have even put way too much paint on that tile. And then you can play with it. So if I want some negative space here, I'm gonna put some black. And add some negative space. Okay, so you can make super cool tiles. Um, let's see, I'll do one more. I'll do one more quick one. Okay, so I'm gonna try and put a little less paint. Little less. Oh, my heart is looking amazing. Okay, less gold, because the gold really took over on this. <laughs> As I said that, and I feel like I put too much. Okay, and pink. Okay, we'll pop the bubbles. And let's blow it out. There's not enough black paint here. I could totally see the tile. There we go. Okay.
Simple. You see? Super duper simple. Now, I'm not going to do the other two. You get the idea. Um, so, yeah. Let me now show you guys a close-up of this. And that actually looks so cute. I really like that. Okay. Let me show you guys a close-up. All righty. So, here, I'd say scrape the drips, but... I guess you really could. You could. You could totally scrape the drips, okay? Scrape the drips. Actually, you should. Scrape those drips. Scrape, 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 okay? All right, now let's look at this. I'm so glad I scraped the first one. I'm sure it was still nice, but this one turned out way better. Much, much better. So less lines. I love that in the center there. Love, love, love that right here super super pretty and this is going to shimmer like crazy and then look at my little coasters this one is yeah i might redo that one but i love this one this one looks really cool you can see the gold shimmer when i put it in the light okay so let's turn the lights off and see what this looks like okay so look how pretty it looks with the flash on oh my goodness gotta love that 24k this is going to look so cute when it's dry. And then it's going to get a top coat of crystal resin. I love it. It's so cute. Super, super pretty. Love it. Let's look at the coasters. See this one, the gold really, really took over. This one looks good. There we go. So there it is. There you have it, my friends. Um, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, I'll probably show this to you guys when it's done, dried, and resined, because then that way you'll be able to see how the colors pop, because the resin really, 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 really does make the colors come back to life, because this will dry a lot more dull than what you're seeing here right now when it's wet. So, but uh, yeah, stay tuned for upcoming video on that. Speaking of resin, if you watched my last video, I told you guys about a 20% sale on a one gallon kit of resin. Comes with a silicone mold and some glitters. There are only 12 kits left, okay? And that's it, just 12. The rest have all sold. So if you want a crystal resin kit, and to save 20% off, usually you can only save 7% off. Now you are saving 20% off, okay? Go and grab one of those last 12 kits before it sells out. And again, of course, the Lowly Veffy package. If you are interested in the package, the link is in the description below, okay? And you can get these cute little hearts and do whatever you choose with them. All right, so let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Um, I'd say it's available for purchase, but... I really think I'm going to give it to Anthony. What do you think? Should I give it to him? <laughs> It'd be my heart. My heart for him on Valentine's Day. Anywho, happy Valentine's Day for everyone out there. I love you guys. Uh, until next time, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.